All right, so Casey Hess here with Marathon Coach, and we're here on the infield of Las Vegas Motor Speedway, joined by Chase Elliott, NASCAR's most popular driver, as voted by the fans. Yeah. Thanks for joining, like Chase. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. So, real quick, what was that like to be voted? I know your dad was uh, held that title for many years in the sport. And yeah. Yeah, you know, obviously a great honor. I think I've told a lot of people this. Anybody who's watched any of my interviews or anything, you know, the, the banquet was cool, the trophy's cool, but... Uh, just the ability to go to the racetrack and see, you know, the hats and t-shirts and people genuinely want to see you do well, I feel like has been, uh, has been the biggest piece of it. I think is always going to be very cool and something I'll never forget. Awesome. We're sitting here in your, uh, sweet new custom coach and obviously your dad had a couple of marathons. So yeah. did that play into why, why you chose marathon? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, as a, as a kid, that was really all he had. I think he had a couple uh, a couple marathon coaches over the years. Um, obviously, got to know a couple of the folks there uh, through through that um, through that relationship. And you know, as it came time for me to be interested, just felt like that was the route that I wanted to at least try first. And um, certainly happy with the way everything turned out. It's been uh, it's been great. Life on the road is is fun, and, and when you have a nice place to spend it, it uh, makes a big difference. Absolutely, like you said. 36, 38 weekends a year? Yeah, 38 weeks a year, so I feel like I'm on this thing probably more than I'm at my house, so yeah. it's uh, definitely home away from home for, for all of us. So you've had one full season now, a little over a full season. Tell us kind of why you chose what you did. Everyone always, when they see your bus at Marathon or wherever, they ask about, man, that bus is sweet, the paint on it, the black wheels, the mirrors. Tell us a little bit how you came to yeah. that. Yeah, it was... Um, we actually had a lot of fun with it. Went out to Oregon, and and uh, me and my my mom and my dad actually went out and and designed this thing um, it, during that whole process, and and just kind of had a had some ideas from some other guys, uh, coaches uh, with, with Jimmy and and, and Kevin. Um, there was you know specifically those two. I remember some designs I really liked and how they had things laid out in here. Um, kind of switched some things up. Um, but really based a lot of it off of their two designs and then did some small things here and there that I liked and didn't like about theirs that I wanted to do in here. And then my mom does a really great job with interior stuff, so she, uh, she helped me with you know, trying to pick out all, all the cabinetry and, and the, the handles for the drawers and, and the colors and all that. So it's, a, it's an amazing process and watching all of it you know, come together. And then you mentioned the paint, um, had an idea for the paint, and we started with one thing, ended up somewhere else on the paint, but it turned out good. And and I like um, you know, I like black wheels on on vehicles in general, so I think it makes it look a lot better. And I'm not a big fan of chrome, so I like to eliminate as much of that as possible. Black it out. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, speaking with Pete, who does our paint designs, he mentioned that I think it was three or four renditions that you started one place and you eventually got toward yeah. that. Yeah, we went all over the board. We were uh, at one point this thing was white on the outside. Um, I'm a big fan of dark gray, so. That was kind of where the where the black and then uh, and red's probably my favorite color. So I think dark gray and the red kind of accents well together. And then obviously the you know the black wheels to me tie tie it. So um, yeah, it turned out great. And and um, yeah, so far so good. Awesome. So you've had it a year. Favorite memory in the bus? Favorite memory in the bus? Um, honestly, it's tough. I mean, it's like asking somebody what their favorite memory in their house is. I don't know, but. Um, just you know, for me, just the ability to have everything you need, and and I tell people all the time, I I'd, I could probably sell my house and live in this thing and be <laughs> be just fine. So um, yeah, it just makes it nice, but hard to say. I mean, just uh, you know, the, to me, the, the summer months are always really cool because you can spend some time outside and, and you know have the entertainment system and and the area to watch TV and whatnot out outdoors, which is always nice. So I look forward to that time of year for sure. So you mentioned that your mom helped you with the interior design. I know some of your artwork in here is pretty unique, pretty sweet. Tell us a little yeah. bit about why you chose the artwork you did. Yeah, well, I wanted to kind of switch it out year to year, um, but kind of started off with just an idea. I'm a big Eric Church fan. I've been to a number of his concerts, and uh, at his concerts they do a uh, basically like a tour poster for each one. So of the concerts I've been to, I tried to get my hands on each of the posters um, I thought that'd be a good theme to start it off with, so it turned out good and unique art, you know, which is pretty neat. And uh, yeah, I, I like to switch it up, so I'll probably change it down the road, and um, you know, eventually try to get some family photos or um, got some pretty cool pictures from last year. Might want to hang up or something, but yeah, that's kind of where we started, and it turned out turned out really good. Awesome. 
Well, appreciate uh, your time today, yeah. Chase. And uh, a neat fact, so of all the NASCAR champions, out of the 66, 22 of them are marathon customers who have been in racing, 22 champions total. So I think you're in good hands, yeah. uh, Chase, with marathon. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can make it 23 this year. We'll see. Absolutely. Thanks, Chase. Appreciate yep. it. You bet. And uh, a neat fact, so of all the NASCAR champions, 22 champions have, or out of the 22 championships, uh, marathon coach owners have won 22 champions. 20, you're 22, 22 for 22 marathon coach owners and champions, right? And out of the 66, 22 of them are... I would say of all of the NASCAR, of the 22 NASCAR champions, all 22 of them are marathon coach owners. Well, there's more than 22 champions, though. Or is that, okay. Well, yeah, I would just say over the years... There's been 22 NASCAR champions who are also marathon coaches. See, you need my job, Chase. Yeah.